Hello everybody, welcome to a new reading vlog. I am going to be reading Crescent City. I've actually read this twice already. This is my special edition that is from Barnes Noble, the exclusive edition. I'm gonna be annotating this. I have already put, I'm really bad at annotating. I actually really loved the annotations I did for fourth, for fourth wing, yes, when I read that. So I'm excited. I usually only annotate on rereads. So I have my key right here. So we have, I'm gonna highlight anything for Bryce. <laughs> That's her name, right? And then I'm gonna highlight anything about world building. So anything like important I wanna remember. Highlight anything for Hunt, cause I'm obsessed with Hunt. And then anything for the romance. So I usually do, well not usually. So for fourth wing, I did Zayden slash romance. It's like the same thing. So I was just when you him the whole time. But I think it's important to understand things about Hunt's character in here so i have those as separate so i do have my little annotation kit i got this from society six a very long time ago it is jane Eyre, and it's perfect size for my annotation supplies so i'm someone who cannot annotate freehand i have to use this as a straight edge and sometimes it gets a little messy but it's okay i'm using this one because it repeats the five colors twice so i have my four colors so i have this this one as like the dark blue this one is the blue and then I have purple and pink. I'm not going to use the dark pink, but I have those and then I have my favorite pen, which is the Sharpie gel pen. Yes. Love that. We'll see how it does annotating, but I'm excited for my reread. I like I said, I read it twice. I've only read the second book once. So I'm interested to see how this goes. I've balled my eyes out both times I read this. We'll see if it happens a third time. I just love these books so much. This is super long though. I have to have this done by Sunday and it's Wednesday and I have to work a ton these next two days. I have so much going on at work. So we'll see. Oh, it has kind of breath at the end. Okay. So this is officially 800 pages. Listen, I've read a thousand page book in two days over a weekend, so I can read 800 pages in five days. Totally doable. I'm going to start tonight. I am reading something on my Kindle, but I'm going to read this tonight. So I will be reading and chat with you guys along the way, and we'll see how my reread goes. I do need to read Throne of Glass, which I want to do this month. But you know what? We'll see. Is it going to be the month of Sergey Mass? I don't know. We'll see, but I'm going to be annotating this and I'm excited. We are getting ready for some sprints and someone's in my spot. got it for me for Christmas. I'm obsessed. You see it? Anyways, hi, hello. I am reading this. It is four o'clock on Saturday and I have a live show at eight o'clock tomorrow and I am 200 pages in. I'm on chapter 17. I'm loving it. I am tabbing. I don't tab like too much. I do highlight and I don't tab everything I highlight, but so far I've only used two colors of tabs, one for hunt <laughs> and one for um like plot slash like important things to remember it's so interesting reading this book after i've already read book two because i'm catching things from book two and here in my second reread was before book two came out so very interesting and i did tell tori though that we can't spoil book two on our live show <laughs> so that's a lot to be discussed from this book about book two so um, that'll be interesting to see how the rest of this plays out. But the beginning of this went by so much faster on my reread because I know what's coming. I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, this is so slow. Like, what's the point? Like, she's just going and partying. But things happen and they're really sad. And like seeing characters that I know are not alive anymore. It was like, this is sad. Especially another character that I know dies at the end. I'm just like, oh. I love them so much. But I'm obsessed with Hunt. So obsessed with him and i love every scene that we've gotten of him so far and he's just such an interesting character and i love their banter it's so cute i forgot he was our bodyguard i thought they were just like working together no he was assigned to guard her and i love it so also seeing rune we didn't see a lot of him in this book i from what i remembered but he's definitely a big part of book two so it's fun seeing him again for the first time it's fun seeing everybody introduced for the first time and things i probably would have missed my first two times reading it because I didn't know as much about them since book two has a lot more about them. So I'm going to continue reading 
and we'll see. It definitely slows down after the initial like bam happening in the beginning, but um, it's starting to pick up again. So I'll up to you guys once I've read some more. I just got to part three. I forgot there were parts in here. So I'm still not super, super far. I'm like 370 pages in, which means I'm not even halfway through and I have to finish this in less than 24 hours. But I love the relationship between Hunt and Bryce so, so much. It's just like super slow burn, but you know that they're really trusting each other and falling for each other and I'm obsessed with them so much and I love Hunt and I even wrote in the book I was like what is it about a man with wings I'm obsessed I love how sometimes he just like cradles her and picks her up and flies with her it's so good and it is slow I mean because it's really just them trying to research what could have caused the horn to disappear so it's more like a like investigation mystery kind of thing so it's definitely really slow at this part but I know it's gonna really pick up and I'm excited to see how I feel about the rest of it and like the different things that are revealed that I know connect with book two. So I'm gonna continue reading. I'm hoping to read at least 100 more pages tonight, but we'll see. Hello, it is, I'm sorry, <laughs> my sister is brushing the dog's teeth yeah, right next to me. Right so you probably brushing. should hear that, but I am here to update. I am now making progress. I'm 550 pages in, so I have 250 pages left. My live show's in two and a half hours. It's not gonna finish it, but to be fair, this is my third reread of this book, so I don't feel as guilty not finishing this before the live show. I meant to read a lot more today, but I had family obligations, so I had to put this off. But I am going to read until the live show, and there is so much tension between Hunt and Bryce through this whole book, and I'm obsessed. Like, the way she took care of him after he went through something that like was really, really hard on him in the shower, she just helped him. <laughs> I love them so much and I really love how they're both just going through a really hard time and they're both there for each other. Most of my tabs at this point are pink, which is like romantic moments between them and it's so good, but there's also so many details that I just saw as just insignificant of characters just like chatting that are so important to book two, especially with the mermaid and with Rune and with the demon prince. Very important things and I didn't realize that Rune met the med witch in this book i think is that a med witch i don't remember like she was helping out at the hospital you don't remember that i remember i thought it was mostly in book two because she's a huge part of book two yeah. but i didn't realize she was in book one too yeah. oh. okay well let's know it all um how many times have you read this one it's oh she's read as much as i have that's fine that's my sister she's starting her reread <laughs> next like after this book she's currently reading she's gonna reread this but yeah, so there's like a lot of things I didn't super, super pay attention to, especially my second time around reading because I hadn't read book two yet. So now I'm like, oh my God, like there are reasons these things are here. Reasons. But I'm going to go ahead and continue reading. I don't like write a ton in my books either. I notice I like to highlight important moments, things that I think are important for like the plot and then like romantic moments. But like how many times can I say I'm obsessed with them? So I wrote that like twice and I'm like, okay, I don't need to write this anymore. So most of my annotating is just highlighting, not actually like writing, but I'm going to read some more. I turned my electric blanket on that I got on Prime. It was like $15. It is the best thing ever like on uh, Black Friday. I'm going to have my sister make me some hot chocolate with caramel syrup and it's going to be a great night. I'm also wearing my white Christmas sweatshirt and Lily just came over to cuddle. everybody it is now monday this vlog is hopefully going up tomorrow <laughs> but i have 110 pages left i read so much yesterday i think i was on page 350 the morning of yesterday and i got to page 687 <laughs> so i am super close to being done i have the last 100 pages to go and i remember the last 100 pages being like so fast paced and so many things happening that i know i'm just gonna fly through the rest of this book but i love their romance when i tell you so i don't know if you can see the colors but pink 
is all of the romance between them. Half the book is pink. <laughs> we have some purple, which is Hunt. Some, I only have a couple blue tabs, which is like specifically for Bryce, and then some world building tabs. But overall, I've just been Hunt. Hunt. I've just been highlighting the romance parts like crazy because their romance is just so well developed you really feel the friendship between them and then they're really understanding each other and the losses they've gone through and what they're trying to grapple with now and when bryce does something i don't want to spoil anything but oh my gosh i love how in love they become also my new favorite character in this book is rune i really didn't pay attention to him either reread i did because i didn't realize how important he was and then after reading the second book i know he's really important so it's really cool reading this one after knowing more about him from book two so i'm really happy that i kind of got to relearn his character and re-fall in love with his character because he cares about bryce so much and i really love it but I definitely forget some big points so I feel like I'm just reading again for the first time too because I'm getting so many different things out of it than what I got the first time around but also some of the same things because like some surprises I'm like oh but why did this happen again I don't remember and then we had our live show last night and they brought up some really good points about like more questions that we have like hunt's background like the prince of hell what the heck is up with him and then also Jezeba Jezeba it's a hard name to say. Bryce's boss, like, what does she know? Because she knows a lot, and I feel like she's going to have such a big role in this series, even though she isn't really there too much. I feel like she knows everything that's going on. Because a lot of times Bryce was like, she doesn't notice what I do. She didn't notice this. I was like, she for sure did know. And I feel like it was because of her that it happened. So, so interesting. And I'm loving my reread, and it's making me so excited to reread book two. All of us are like, we want to jump into book two now, but our live show's not till I think the 20th. And then it'll be a week and a half and then book three will be out. So I'm very, very happy I'm rereading this because I'm remembering so many important details that I feel like are going to be important for the third book. So I'm going to be reading some more. I will finish this and I will update you one more time on how this reread is going. Well, I finished. It took me about an hour and a half to read the last 100 pages and the way I tabbed and highlighted that ending if you see i don't know if you can see that well but like most of my tabs are for sure in the second half of this book and i didn't sob this time my first two rereads i sobbed like a baby both times i think it's because i was highlighting too that i couldn't like get too wrapped up in my emotions but i definitely teared up so many times at the end we have lehaba is that how you say her name? We have Ethan, we have Danica, we have Connor, we have Hunt, like my emotions in this book. I feel like the way that Sarah J Mass spent time developing each individual character literally from page one, because some characters we only saw on page for like one scene, the way I became so emotionally invested in their characters. I lost it so much. And Bryce sending a text to someone. <gasps> literally like the, my emotions are all over the place like obviously i love her and hunt together but the like lost chance of her and connor broke my heart and i love her relationship with rune and i love her like the relationships in here too are so strong beyond the romantic relationships i mean obviously hunt and Bryce have a really really deep emotional connection beyond just a physical connection but her and Rune's relationship I did not remember from my first two rereads I was like yeah Rune's fine I think knowing he's such a big character in the next book made me pay attention to him so much more and appreciate their relationship so much more oh my god it was so good okay so obviously obsessed one of my favorite fantasies of all time just the way she writes these books blows my mind but I'm gonna go ahead and get into a little bit of spoilers Especially considering what I have questions about. So in the end, Jessica knows so freaking much. And this prince, I really hope, shows up. So people actually mentioned that the like, new book, that is the house that Jessica is a part of. And so the fact that they were like talking about her light and how they both recognized it and Jessica had a really, really weird reaction when they were watching Bryce's power come to be. So um, they both know things. And I'm very intrigued to see like what these things will be, especially because I don't think a lot of it was mentioned in book two about what they're talking about from what I remember. I don't remember a lot from book two. I'm definitely gonna have to reread and delve a lot into that, but I lose it every single time she does the drop and Danica is there 
and they have just such an intense love for one another and I'm obsessed with their friendship. They have one of the strongest friendship bonds I've ever read in a book and I think it's so, so special. Like to the point where I want to get a lighted up tattoo, like just because of how they're there for one another and they literally like defy death together and it's just, just so amazing how much they will sacrifice for one another and it's just, it's just so beautiful their friendship i'm obsessed with them and i cry every time she sees danica and she hears her tell her light it up and she makes the drop and then talks to her and gets to talk to her about connor okay and i thought ethan also had a lot more in this book and i freak out every time i see ethan but i i guess he's more in the next book because ethan only showed up at the end during that big final battle um love how she just shot micah to pieces burned him and then vacuumed up his ashes iconic i love hunt and how he literally ripped sandriel's head off of her body you go hunt i love the queen that rune got to know i remember her i thought that was in book two though so i do like mesh some things between the books but rune also is such a special character and i love his relationship like the fact that bryce was at the lowest of lows in her life to the point where she was on that roof and now she is surrounded by so much love just makes me so emotional like sarah j mass puts her characters through so much and really delves into the darkest places that people can go to so i'm thinking of a court of silver flames and what that book is all about and so I'm obsessed. I actually barely had any highlights for Bryce in the beginning and then all these light blue tabs are more from Bryce. I kept on confusing Bryce and Hunt's colors and I'm really annoyed with myself because some of them are wrong because I made Hunt purple and I definitely highlighted a couple of Bryce's things purple but I put the right tab. So there's just so much here of light blue of just things that she went through and about her character and i'm obsessed and all the middle is pink for their romance developing we obviously have some at the end oh, when they save each other so i am obsessed with this reread i'm so happy i reread it one of my favorite books of all time oh it's just so good and i don't get tired of rereading it it's just i see new things every time so so happy i reread it obsessed five stars let me know if you read this if you're joining a read along or not it's fine if you're not if you're just reading it let me know if you love it and what you're thinking about book two and if you're excited for book three but thank you so much for watching and coming along on this journey with me i really appreciate it and that's all i have as always thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye